The myth of Medea is most famous through Euripides' Greek tragedy, Medea. And in that story, Medea's husband, Jason, leaves her for another woman, a Corinthian princess. Uh, and what Medea does is she sends a poisoned gift to this princess, which kills her and her father, the King Creon. And then she kills Jason's two sons, which ensures essentially his future line cannot exist. So she's taken his new partner who could produce more heirs for him. And then she's taken his other two heirs. The story of Medea's children have not really been told throughout history. They are present from the earliest versions of the story. So we know in the ancient theater, their corpses are seen. Uh, so she comes out at the end of the play in this amazing flying chariot and shows Jason the corpses of the sons. Uh, but they, these might have been props, they might have been puppets, they may not have been real people. It's quite hard for us to imagine what emotions Medea might have been feeling in her actions towards her sons, uh, because the Greeks didn't really think of character in the same way that we do today. Uh, we know that she feels like she's gotten into a state, it's almost like her brain's been taken captive. She feels like she's backed into a corner and she can't rationally think about options for her and her children. So in terms of her actions and her motivations towards her son, she's feeling time pressure, she's feeling uh, a lot of fear, and she's really feeling like she's backed into a corner and she's acting um, in extreme circumstances without her kind of full rational mind at play.